Adam Sushamane has now reacted to Okorocha's accusations. The former Edo governor has distanced the APC from Okorocha's actions, which he described as embarrassing. He also says the APC will have nothing to do with the second governorship primaries conducted in Imo that produced Okorocha's son-in-law as candidate. Okorocha wants his son-in-law, Uche Nwosu, to become the party's candidate, but the National Working Committee of the party has declared Senator Hope Uzadima as the legal candidate of the APC. Uh, Babangida Aliyu has been meeting with President Muhammad Buhari behind closed doors. After the meeting, Aliyu told newsmen that he complained about the delays in the completion of several government projects in Mina and other parts of Niger State. He says the president promised to look into his complaints. Like we have said, there are over 2,150 uh, uh, kilometers of roads in Niger State that are federal government and only about 10% are motorable now. Any one of you who knows or who has been to Mina from Abuja can now tell you the story of what is there. What used to be about 50 minutes, one hour, now is more than three hours or four hours before you reach Mina. And that is what we face throughout all the inlets and outlets from Niger State. The major road from Ilorin, Mokwa, Brindungwari Kaduna is now not motorable at all. So what has happened is that people, uh, drivers, trailers, come from Mokwa, through Bida, through Mina, through Suleja, and they block the roads. And the additional insecurity that has really stopped trailers from going from the main roads. And then we talked about the completion of the Barrow Port. And the subsequent or the ongoing dredging that also should have been completed by now and other infrastructural development that we need in Niger State. The President characteristically promised to look at all the issues but again he raised an important issue that I, I think Nigerians we must look at it thoroughly and that is the delay in the budgetary process of the country. There is no need to have a budget after six, seven months in the year that that budget will have been implemented. And I believe that is a two-way traffic. Both the executive and the legislature and other Nigerians must come to terms to agree on how this process, the budgetary passage, to me, should not be more than a month, two months, particularly if everybody participate actively in the process. The president also looked at that and also told us that he has been talking to the National Assembly people so that we can have that.